RTO Online's in Jackson Hole, Wyoming at the 2009 Color Time Summer Retreat. We're here with Color Time franchisee Mark Childers from Alaska. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Good morning. Alaska. Alaska and Washington, yeah. How many stores? We have four in Alaska, and I'm about to open my second Washington store next month. Which part of Washington? The Tri-Cities, uh, Pasco, Washington. In relation to Seattle, we're... Um, Central Washington, so probably three hours east of Seattle. Population? Uh, roughly 70,000. Big town. Yeah. Competition there? Uh, the usual players. But they're not Mark Childers? They're not Mark Childers, no. You have a long and successful, have had a long and successful career in the rental business and with Color Time. I have. It's all been with Color Time. Uh, all of it has been? Really? All of it from February of 1985. With Gary Hughes the whole time? No, no, no. Gary is, um, he entered the color time picture, I think, in 1989. Uh -huh. And I started in 1985. 85, that's just three years after they began franchising. So yeah, was not very, very long early. at all. Willie Talley actually hired me. Really? Yeah. And where did you start? What part of the country did you start? When I started, it was in a town, Bryan, Texas, as a delivery driver. And several years working in operations and jumped to corporate when corporate was in Athens, Texas. And what? I was responsible for training for all of the stores west of Texas. What do you remember most about Willie Talley? Um, just, I would say what I remember most about him is just how genuine of a person he was. You know, I was, I was in awe and really nervous for that interview in Athens, and Willie put me at ease real quick. And, uh, I'll never forget it. He told me he could tell the condition of a store or an operation simply by looking at their back room. And that's true. It's a true statement. I still remember that to this day. Do you do that yourself today? I do. What's it tell you when you walk into the back room? Well, it tells you how the store is managing their customers, their employees, and their inventory. And it just gives you a real quick picture of, the, of the health. What do you look for? The first thing I look for is a smiling employee, a smiling team member when you walk in the door. Is that first impression uh, important for customers? Um, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Is it different doing business in Alaska than in the, in the uh, contiguous U.S., I guess? No, I wouldn't say so. Customers still need to be taken care of, and you still need to take care of your, still your want people. Still want the same things there as they do everywhere else? Exactly. It's a little more challenging in some areas, uh, getting product. It uh, must be a challenge. It's shipped in by sea, I suppose. Uh, it is, and we, the, we have wonderful relationship with vendors, and that's one of the, the biggest, if not the biggest, plus for me being part of Color Time is the relationship we have with vendors. Um, I don't know of, of the, any, any of the other rent-to-own companies that have the, the relationships that have been built over the years you know, Color Time is the oldest franchised rent-owned company. 30th, 30th anniversary this year. Yeah, and Rhonda has been there, Rhonda Davis, almost every step of the way. And a lot of the people, like Kent Clark with Ashley, uh, just, I, I would guess a dozen when, years. When he was a teenager, it seems yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, and so it's just really nice because they'll do just about anything for you. We truly are partners. And uh, if it wasn't for the vendors taking care of me and doing the things they do, it would it'd really be difficult. What kind of lead time do you have to have on merchandise orders from Alaska? Um, anywhere from about three weeks to six weeks. Much different so, than, than yeah. where you take weekly. You don't take weekly delivery when you're in, in the... No. And unfortunately, it's sometimes feast or famine. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll either have so much inventory, it's coming out the front door and the back door, spilling out on the sidewalk, or we're waiting. And we're going, oh my gosh, we're out. Customers are coming in. But, you know, the people in Alaska are kind of used to that. Yeah. You know, you, they're used to uh, produce and groceries and, and items just taking a while to get there. Why Alaska? Uh, well, as you know, my partner, Gary Hughes, we sold 27 of our stores to Rena Center in, 19, in 2005. Uh -huh. And so there was a certain non-compete that came with that. I don't know. And Mitch had to had go to all the way that. to Alaska to get out of the non-compete. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I don't understand. Mitch just didn't want us opening very soon, you know, next to him. And so that was a four-year deal. And so I had to look around and 
after taking about a two week or three week break and realizing that not doing anything wasn't for me, I looked around in Washington, or there was a couple of stores, areas in Washington I could go to, but Alaska was wide open. And other than Renna Center and Aaron's, those were the major players, so I said, what the heck? Any qualms about breaking new ground up there? Or does that just fit your personality? Oh, no, I think always there's qualms until, even up until that very first day of opening, you have those qualms, and you lie, lie awake in bed wondering, is this the right thing to do? Is anybody is it gonna, gonna come work? In tomorrow? Yeah, <laughs> is it gonna work? And so you don't really know until you open those doors and, and get to going. And, and uh, uh, met your expectations, I assume? It has. You know, it, it, it all still comes down to people. And if you have the right manager, that really makes the difference. That's there, all it comes down to. There's a few things more important than that, is there? Exactly. And uh, this was my year. I was uh, named Color Time Franchisee of the Year for 2008. Congratulations. And I want to make sure, and I told everybody when I accepted it, it wasn't for me. This is, this is only possible because of my managers. And they, it was a good thing. It was my intention when they, you don't know who wins until you're up there. Right. But I always said if I was fortunate enough to win it, I was going to break the eagle and give a piece of it to each one of my managers. And I guess the last couple of years, Color Time quit bringing the, a real crystal eagle to the convention. <laughs> and they had this metal knockoff. So I couldn't do it. You couldn't break it up. Couldn't break it, no. How many uh, uh, employees do you have total? Um, with our home office, I believe 32. 32 employees. And how yeah. many stores you say? Total of five. five. Five right now, six next month. And long term, where do you see your growth? How many, um, how many stores are you going to have 10 years from now? I actually, I'm pretty happy with what I have right now, five or six. It was extremely fun. Gary and I had a blast when we had the 30-something stores. Right. And it was just a different game at that point. Um, it was a lot of fun doing it, and we were looking at 50 plus stores. And it, the timing, though, came out to where it was just the best thing right. for Gary and I to do. And we still, every time we run into each other, we, we have a toast and a drink to timing. And uh, it was the best thing to do. And, you know, and, and now we get together and talk, and I think both of us are. Now not so much into having 20, 30 stores anymore, but just having anywhere six to a dozen well-ran stores. Doing it well. Yeah. And as long as I have people that want to grow with me, then we'll open stores. And I'm very blessed, Tracy and I, to have a lot of the people we've worked with over the last 10, 15 years that joined us and said, you know, let's keep going, let's keep doing this. And, and your wife, Tracy, is quite an operator in her own right. Is she? she is. You know, she... Uh, she keeps me legal. She keeps me on the straight and narrow. And when I come up with a crazy idea, she's, she's the voice of reason that says, you know, Mark, let's think about this a little bit. You're heavily involved in, in uh, community service in Alaska. Yeah. Done some work with some youth. I think it's very important that we're involved. And that's probably another key to success in your communities is just helping out. Boys and Girls Club. Um, Another cause Tracy and I have gotten into recently has been family homelessness. And there's unfortunately a lot of families that don't have a place to live right now. And that's, that's what we're really pushing right now and getting into. No family should be homeless or hungry. Something that you and Gary did a lot of, mm -hmm. and Gary and yourself continue to do now, yeah. is give back to the community. Why is that so important to you personally? It's just important. Uh, we're really blessed with what we have and we didn't do it on our own and it's very important to make sure and stay grounded and give back to the people that make it all work. What do you think the next 30 years will have in store for Color Time as a company? I think growth. I think Color Time is, as management, being with Color Time since 1985, I've seen a lot of people as you have come and go out of the different corporate offices and without giving a plug to Color Time, I truly believe that with Bob Bloom and Jim Deering and Albert Kohut, they probably have their best management staff as far as how to and to teach operators how to build a successful company, whether it's one store, two stores, or five stores plus. Mark Childers, Color Time franchisee from Alaska and Washington. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Roy.